Me did the young and touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map him tap tap send. Ain't ye ne? Also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Kakom where Busia for Wagana for Nenina. Tap tap send. Papa no no. We've met so many times at so many different places, but we've never actually sat down to have a conversation. And I may say, I feel 2022, I was saying, because I'm celebrating 10 years in media. To me, I'm saying that 10 years, I'm saying, I didn't tell me no one can say it. Saying that I'm in the industry, now I'm in the industry. To my friend, I'm saying, I'm in the industry, I'm in the industry, I'm in everything about Oma Krupp, we became a crop, we became a crop. Thank you very much. Sir It's a So, how's Anna? Nina. Um, well, my, mo my mom is half Togolese, half Ghanaian. So, and my, my dad is a pure German. So, Tuka. Mm. Is it Dutch or Dutch? Dutch. Dutch. German yeah, Dutch now we're Dutch. Dutch yeah. Okay, so you speak Dutch. I uh, know I speak Dutch, Dutch. Dutch German. And Ever? I speak Ever. The Dutch is like um forty percent. Okay. I speak Ever completely. I speak Hausa. I speak French like fifty, sixty percent. Of course English. I speak my language Kotokoli. And I have, I have, I have it's, um, it's like you know how Ghana you were northern part of Ghana, that's Tamale. Okay. So in Togo that's the northern part of it, it's called Sogode. Okay. Yeah, that's what I speak. So you speak like five or six languages? It's a seven. So, yeah. <laughs> so you, 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 you stayed a little bit in Germany? No, I didn't stay. I was born here, but I've been to Germany a couple of times. So how did you learn that language? I went to the school in Togo. It's called Goethe Institution in okay. 2008. My stepdad, you know, just told me that I should go learn German. That one day I will go to Germany. That's how I went to So who your father is then? My, my real father is a German. No, stepdad is a German? No, he's a Ghanaian. He's, okay. um, he's, he's a Ghanaian Togolese. He used to be the chief mom of Togo, but he's dead. I mean, he died seven years ago. Your stepdad? Yeah, he's, he was one of the, my favorite dads I've had. How many dads have you had? Whatever, how many dads that I've had with my mom, but he was one of my favorite stepdads. So like, you've had like five? No, like two. So your father wasn't your favorite dad? He's my dad. But he wasn't your favorite? He's my dad. <laughs> but he wasn't your favorite? He's still my father. So what, what did your stepfather do? Uh, he loved me. He, he showed me love, you know. He, he cared for me. He's the reason why I'm an actor. He's the reason why I went to the United States. He's the reason why my career started, you know. And it's sad that he's he's dead and he's not alive to see what is becoming of what he has done. Mm. He, he had children, but he gave me more love than he gave his children. How many children did he have? He has two. Okay. They're all older, even older than my mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, what did you what did you what did you get for your father? Well, I've never spoken about my father, but um, I practically met my dad in 2019. Ever since I was born, I never saw my dad until I was 26. And that's like a different story on the day, how we met. We met through internet, through Instagram. My dad, I never saw my dad ever since I was born till 2019. Why? <laughs> it's a love story. It's not a story for the camera. <laughs> He didn't accept the pregnancy? No, he left after three months when my mom was pregnant. And never had communication with the mom again? It was one of those things, you know. I know Pewana. Not that. There was a situation. There was a situation as at that time in 1993. So, I mean, God being so good, after 26 years, I met him out of nowhere on mm. social media. <laughs> Did you. I she never will reach out to him. He never reached out to him. He reached out to me on social media. He commented on a picture I posted. That or your, or your papa. Yes. He he stated some inf important information that nobody could accept my mom that I knew that. So I screenshot and I sent to my mom. Uh, I don't know what this message means. So I replied and then it went to my DM and through email and number and then I flew to Germany and I went to meet him. Hey, buddy. Pure white man. He's an insurance broker in Germany. He's a big man. He's doing well. <laughs> so growing up, 
without a father okay let's say your, your stepfather was there but without your real father I, I i grew up with my mom and my grandma mm. the i grew up with these two people these were the people that took care of me my mom and my grandma especially my mom these were and still is my family you don't have that love for your father i love my mom too much <laughs> too much so how's your relationship with that right now Cool. We, we talk, you know, we, he calls once a while, we do video call, I visit him. The last time we met was in 2020 before the lockdown, you know, ever since I've not been back again. But we talk, he calls and all that. We're trying to build up the relationship. We've spoken, we've, we've apologized to each other and we're moving on. What, what did you apologize to him for? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you never know where a child might go wrong as well. So, I mean, it's life. I didn't put it in mindset because I went through a lot. It's not just, I went through a lot. So meeting him was a lot of anger in me but hugging him and talking to him i felt that i needed that moment what did you go through without having a father growing up it's a whole lot of you know drama you know growing up with a single mom who's also trying to finish her education leaving with her grandma going to accra and later joining her in accra my mom was one of the my mom was the first producer to bring i mean my mom was one of the first producers to bring nigerians into ghana to do movies back in the days you know, so it's, it was a whole lot of drama. Growing up with my mom, very young, and seeing her with a lot of struggles. It's a lot of drama, trust me. But somebody bringing Nigerians to Ghana, I mean, let's say, as a day. Yeah, the industry is like, she was, she started with the lives of um, Pascal and Edwards. Ah, but they were big guys. Yeah, but, you know, it wasn't paying as much, you know. I, 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 I am privileged to be on one of her set back then when she was producing House of Ladies. You know, but it, she couldn't finish the production. You know, that was the last production I saw her do. I saw how she was struggling and all that. Just how I also struggled when I was producing. You know, she was just a single mom in a single room trying to take care of her son, working with Glyco and all that. And our Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've been, we've, I've been through dark and deeper times with my mom. Where is she now? She lives in Kaswa. So she, she works with Glyco. Okay, still with them. Yeah. Now she's okay. Too fine. She's too fine. <laughs> she's too calm. And you're also okay. I'm doing very well for myself. Mm. That's, you know, the support. I get the support when I need it, but I'm out there on my own. So, at, at, at what point? Okay, I'll be back after the break. Meeting as I I'm here with Omar Crop. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Aye, bio. Intimate to me, I Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Dear, so you are planning to see and you ready for and I'm for. I'm coming now for the man one. I'm going to want you. You need me to clean the room. I'm worried about the crowd. Where you are? Not feeling so cool, man. I said that come on, sweet. Now me know who they. Oma withdrew. She said we need me here. Yeah, heavy set. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Dr. Chris Bodhi, ne ni muti ya tiye. Ah, ne se professional nurse ya. When you see him, you see him. We want baby ne herbal clinic. We want ya for what that j. Ne ni mu bosho boko. And say one more mama wa wo. Ya ribi to say ulcer, malaria, typhoid, BP, diabetes, stroke, hypertension. Ndi akeka hano mu diye. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Aye ni fiti le kura. We will come to your home school junction. I have phone friend now on call where zero two four six five one eight zero zero three and a zero two zero six eight one two five five eight. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Be any help you. Me da so any Omar Club and I will have most of the conversation be here bro for because I don't know a couple of more. Tell me I'm a cocker. I don't know being to three. Can I for someone to ask you? We don't tell us by force. Me still be or young the name so catchy. Uh, I'm sorry for that. If once yes, yeah, I'm sorry. Why? Who your kids were? Also, so your are okay, sir. Um, so, um, question come up. Let me be so calm, Rafi. Um, we did as I felt this. Rafi, question number seven. It happens. I should have continued without, without going on the break. It happens. Uh, once in a while. Mami, can't just send me call here. South Africa this August, this April, from 15th to a year 21st. Of August, Easter, and I may call with eight nine thousand Ghana cities. You can join me for us to go on this trip. Call SBIT World Travel and Tour. Now, young call trip with 0202490190. Utah 9000 now, everything is inclusive tickets, accommodation, visa, breakfast, tour, and when you're between now, it is part of the 9000. Can I say this? See, yeah. So I was coming to ask, at what point did your stepfather come in? At what age? My stepdad 
came into the picture in 2008. That's mm -hmm. when my mom got married to my, my stepdad. And um, she went to live in Togo for a very long time. And I also went there to stay with her. So that's how come I speak the French and the Ever Ever and, and, and that's why my, my stepdad told me that. He just told me that I will one day meet my father. So I should go and learn Dutch. Mm -hmm. And that's how I learned Dutch. And from 2008 to 2019, that's a very long time. That's after he died. Mm -hmm. And I actually met my dad. Um, you know, some people have bitter experience about their stepdads because some stepdads Osha Obana, Abaka Chenso, they are not able to But Obana and Edwin Tiri are they are not able to accept the kids as theirs. Mm -hmm. uh, share some of your experience to us so that people who have step kids. Well, um, my stepdad was a chief mom, so he had three wives. So my mom was the third wife. And um, among the three wives, my mom, none of them had kids. My mom had me. The other kids were a previous wife of his. Everybody loved everyone in the house. It was a very peaceful house. It was a very calculative living. Like Mondays to this, my mom does this, this, this person does. And everybody has normal treatment. Yes, I get special treatment because when he's going somewhere, he's always tagging me along. When he's going this, he's always having me along. And my mom was like the educated one, and I also was the educated one. So we we're always around him with some of things. So I, I, I enjoyed it. He didn't treat me bad. My stepmom, none of them treated me bad. We had a very peaceful living. Mm. Yeah. Let's look at growing up, I mean, education. Yeah. Where did you go? Well, I went to um, Film Foundation school in Spinters Road and um, when I finished my even when your mom was struggling yeah, Spinters so school just my got mom, to my too. mom made sure my mom made sure that I went to private schools yeah I, I went to one government school that was um, um Bema camp that was because I was living in Mamu with my grandmom so I was going there but when we moved to Spinters I was in Fair Foundation it was just like 15 minutes from the house it was a very good school 15 minutes walk or car walk okay yeah I walk I, I used to walk to school and then I went to uh, Maui Senior High School and then I left after first year. I was poisoned in school. So yeah. no, is it poison or we got poison? I'm just saying a drug or drug. No, yeah, it was food poisoning too. It, it was a food poisoning, but later it became some spiritual sickness like that. Mm -hmm. you know, so I had to move to Togo. No, but about food poisoning? This will be the drug woman said. Now you're not saying. I don't know how it was, but I had like um like an appendix pain over the night before they took me out of school. And then they took me out of the house and it became a severe sickness that you know locked me down so that's after first term of film on uh, maoli senior high school i came to accra and i enrolled in um, i do college okay and while i was i was there that's how i got my um opportunity with a spirited actor audition that i did i went to the states okay so i was there i was moving from kaswa to um Isligon for i do college and all that wow yeah. don't know i'm kaswa so, when I was there, I had audition and I had to stop school again in uh, senior, uh, second year and then went to the state. When I came back, my colleagues had already, you know, completed, so I had to do my not there and continue my 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 dream as an actor. Oh, okay. To one co uni? No, I didn't go to okay. school. Okay. So for how long have you been in the industry? Um, from 2013 till now. Okay, so next year about 10 years. Yes, next year is 10 so years. like nine, nine years now. Nine years, yeah. How has it been for you? It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy, trust me. It hasn't. It hasn't been easy. It has been a very long, long journey for me. You know, I have, I have experienced a lot. I have learned a lot. I have, I have grown. I have met people, both good and bad. And I can say for now, where I am, with whom I am with, I think the future is bright. And I think I did an amazing job, holding on to whatever that I went through for nine years. And what did you go through? It's not easy as an actor in this country. First of all, we all know how the industry doesn't pay that much. But we have to live to our standard on what people see us to be on screen. And I also became a producer at a very young age when I started acting. Like after a year of acting, I became a producer. So I've been producing since 20, 2014. You know, and it's like when I started, I didn't have money. But I had this passion and I had this energy of wanting to play different roles and wanting to help people to also become stars and wanting to tell a story. You know, I feel like I want to tell a story. And I didn't have money, you know, but I knew that I could do it. So a lot of, you know, you know, back talk about how I use people and I don't pay people in the I can make a gamble. Yeah. <laughs> how I use people and I don't pay people in the industry. But Zion, look at this on an example. I'm a young actor. I was 19 when I started acting. 
and I had a little problem in the industry and I feel the look. People were tagging me on a particular character, but I feel like I can play different characters. So I started producing. I didn't have money to pay people, but I know I could get favors from people. So if you come on my set and I talk to you that I want to use you for a move and you come and you act and I don't pay you, what can you do? What conversation do you have with them before they come on set? They'll pay you or come no, and help me? No, I make you very much aware that I don't have money, but I want to shoot a job. I sometimes I think they fall in love with my scripts, but I want to do a job. They will come and do the job and they know that I don't have money. Well, sometimes I tell them, you know, I'll give them and I don't end up giving them, but the job must be done. But what I'm saying is however I use people, however I worked my way through the industry, it was the only way for me to survive and keep moving on and keep making movies for myself. And so if I had stepped on anybody's toe, the thing that I used them, I didn't pay them, you can easily just call me as well and use me and, you know, not pay me as well. And we'll, I'm sure the industry will grow from there. You know, instead of sitting somewhere and then saying, oh, he used me, he didn't pay me, he used me, he didn't pay me. I didn't have it. If I have it, I'll give you. But who is this guy, uh, But the dream must go on. Zion, who would help you? Who? There was nobody sponsoring me. I need, I need to tell a story. I need to be on the big screen. I need to be a star. I need to project myself. Nobody was there to do it for me. Mm. I didn't waste still. <laughs> I just used your talent to add to mine, make a movie so I can live on. How many movies do you have, do you have to your credit? I mean, what produ production? Uh, I have two more movies that were supposed to come out but couldn't come out. So adding to that, I think 12 or 13 movies. Why now I'm ending them out? Um, because of the lockdown and um, Certain decisions that I'm making, I don't want to release those movies again. I want to do new movies. Are they? Are they? It's nothing. I'm, I will sell them, but I just feel like you know I've met Mr. Ginate, and um, our journey has started very well. So, like I feel like there's a lot I want to learn from him before I come up to producing again. And I feel like I want to give myself the chance to act because for a very long time I've been producing and you know not having time to actually perform or act and you know putting the stress of producing and moving up and down, people insulting you and you have... People don't know who I am, so people have certain perception about me in the industry and I want to change it now. I just want to be... What perception do they have about you? Very bad perception. Like, people think that I'm a very horrible person. People think that I use and I don't pay people. With, like, you know, <laughs> that is super. <laughs> and Shimi, but I just feel like, can't you see there's just a young boy who's just trying to make a living and just trying to be a star and trying to help other people? Like, he doesn't have it. Can't you just see... He didn't have it, you know. Why no one had your mocha? I think a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think a lot of people. Yeah, I think a lot of it's people. It's different to say, Uber uses for this, for this production. Won't you? Then, because next one, remember, you use Uber different for person. Uber, Zion. Uber, Uber. Uber. So, what, what do you mean? I use people several times, like, continuously. Once your mocha still they come? Yeah, okay. Why? Do you do the magic? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Or how you talk, you cry on them, so we part of me. I don't cry. Out. I just let you know what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I want to do. And those times I used to do a lot of cinema films, so it's like what Bobby does. So obviously you know, say even if I don't pay you, the film will come will come out. I will do what promotion, you do some interview and at least you you get your platform there. That's what I'm saying. That you could have just used me as well to make your own money too. Like I'm there, I'm an actor. So call me and say, hey, you, you used me, you didn't pay me, come and stand and let me see you. I'll come, why not? Mm. Why would I come? But they say they what's the sign and I still scan you. It's all your friends, boy. <laughs> German Boga back. This is Kawaho. So right now he's here with you. I'm not producing that. Now I'm an actor. I I'm working with my boss, so I'm just taking yeah, that. Okay. And see, so and obviously you should know until you will you complain. I don't have a problem. It depends on the script I'm going to shoot. Like it depends mm -hmm. on the story. For me, I'm very passionate about my work before the money. The money is important, but if I read a script and I look at the future of your job and where you want to take the job to, I don't mind being part of it even without you paying me. You know? But if you are going to call me for a job where you just want to put it somewhere, you know, like I'm a, I'm very calculative with the kind of jobs that I do. So yeah. even if I will do it for free, it has to be something good, something that will help my career. We purchase so pass as to our so Morgan Height for her or more in Sassi, Ewo Accra, ah, in Sassi, in Su, and your summer. I was there in Suba for four dance in Suta, now Ababi Hiru, now Ufu two was winning, a bean sea, I was so Morgan Height, or more Sassi, so, or more pipe, or my chair call, or more so electricity, a quantum so, or Mangasa, and or more year, or because on Pesel was soon Joe, Sassin, so no cotons on Yasa, Yawa Cotona, or no be a home blues.
Debbie, or Munya Sadiano, or more credibility in here on Mopa. Call them on zero two zero three one four three three four two zero two zero three one four three three four two. Now a tap tap sense, oh, UK, Belgium, Italy, Holland, France, Spain, Germany, United States of America, and as a Canada, na in Red Room, so so Seniska, Ebagana, a patch of Moncanche, a year, Oma Crop, Papa say, or Seniska, Bruno Ganaha, only so tap tap sent, and on our Sandia or Montenegro. Written so every high is a Ghana yet dollar to uh, you know, and your crying to send a kid to a beer, will be a bri pounds, or send ya, if you never be euros, no send ya, if you never be So you start to send to send money to family and friends here in Ghana. Is our industry dying or who because I dead? Hmm. Um, this industry question thing, um, I don't know, I will try and answer it because it's very complicated. Like, I know a lot of people say, oh, but biting division is, that's not a problem. By day. That's in every industry, even in America, there's always somebody who's trying to sabotage somebody. That is that, that's not a problem of an industry. The problem of Ghanaian film industry is we lack cinemas, and we lack distribution houses, and we lack distributing platforms. It's, I can spend 50,000 to make a film. Cities. Ghana cities. Are you sure I will make that 50,000 in Ghana city, in, in this Ghana cinema? Are you sure if I do a one night premiere at Silverbird Cinema, that's enough to cover up? No. The Nigerians are doing 20, 10 cinemas at a time in different regions. What happens to having two cinemas in each region? Imagine we have two cinemas in each, let's say 10 regions, and then I'm doing a movie premiere, and all is premiering in all these regions. And let's say I even have 200 pair holes. I'm very okay to do another film again, to drive in a big car, to live good life, to pay promoters to promote me. But this is the country where when you make a film, you do your whole two weeks promotion in just several best cinemas. After that, you have to start another promotion somewhere else. After that, another promotion somewhere else. That's true. Then when you are done, you have to now look for who to sell it to. We will travel to Nigeria, South Africa. And when we get there, they don't value us because they value their own people. And so if they'll buy a Nigerian movie with known stars for let's say five thousand dollars, they'll buy a Ghanaian film with even Jackie and Majid for five thousand dollars. It doesn't make sense. So our people even our fans also don't even support like just come out and buy a ticket and watch a movie. Wherever they show the film. The same time you go on Netflix and watch an American just go online and watch a Ghanaian film. Give, leave comments, give us view, you know, so that we can also be appreciated. Is this like the music thing they're saying, and then, when you go on like eight percent of Ghanaian people and go on their like music playlist, there's a lot of Nigerian songs and Ghanaian songs. Sure. Let's just let's just be honest on the Like even the fans don't support the celebrities. Even the fans don't give us the respect we deserve. So how do you expect us to be respected outside? So the industry problem is a lot, but when you want to come to the movie side right now to make it stable, we need a lot of cinemas. People do complain yeah. that most of the productions are there is a movie. No, how many productions did they watch? If Onesin just did a film, a lot of people are doing good productions. Do you understand? How many films do they go out to watch? What is their favorite film? What do they want to watch? It depends on what they want to watch. If you want to watch a good film from Ghana, you would look for it and you watch it. We do good movies. We do pretty good movies. If you want to invest your time and watch a good Ghanaian film, you watch. We patch also who for a call Grace Gates have acted like na omo ensure yari Dr Grace Bodu say ono die on the kitchen who say yari bi e how bi ano oba obit me at the herbal medicine et me abua o waya juma na che she was a nurse before oba or the herbal medicine no ebe kan oh ono kache me say zai me say oye be ma na unti mi unko kwanso more than ten minutes ah oye o problem obit me abua and then, Uncle, I'm going to say, I read the baby. And then, you interview, I say, Oh, yeah, Obana, but so old twins are only how I with a bit of my old twins. Nina, I drew up a bema, a boo, hope or bounce while only a drop between them all, and in a bit of me, a boy, Grace gives a back and a kuma say, Oh, more shoes could janshin, a cra, a chimota petroleum, and a more wobbits me from zero two four six five one eight hundred three zero two four six five one eight hundred three. Oh, from one, omit me a boy, now omit me. As I will, Doctor Grisbo did here. The name today, America, say, and in ten on Quano, it's me as I have, and Sana, with me, Asha, or Ama, who it's me at all. If you go on Instagram on February 14, Omar Crop, a posted in fact, it has become 
talk of the town. He posted pictures. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five pictures. I say, when you truly find yourself, happy Valentine's Day. And people are reading meanings into it. Say we're gay because of how you, <laughs> how you took the picture. What you count somewhere? No, I your home. master will be yeah. all because of that. And with the caption, when you truly find yourself, are you gay? No, I'm not gay. I'm very straight. You're very straight. Extremely. Why that post? I'm an actor. You know, things. I dare myself to play any character in any role, you know. Let me even state this fact before I even continue with the question. When we take the lives of Mr. Ignati, Majid Michel, Prince David, or say Panos, like, like my colleagues, I'm the best actor among all of them. Let's just be honest. I'm, one of, I'm not one, I am the best actor among my colleagues. Yeah, I can play any kind of role you give me. Any character at all, I can just fit in. And that's it's an exhibition of a character I can also play. And it was a vast day, and myself and my director, Mr. Edinati, just thought of, you know, doing something different. Because everybody's going to do a photo shoot, you know, in their vast outfit. And I was just representing art. And it was just art. And if I'm not going to paint his nails. Yeah. And if I say, uh, when you truly find yourself, there's a lot of things you can find within yourself, you know. It doesn't necessarily mean that because I'm, I'm having that look, it means I'm gay or something. It was just art, and as an actor or you know, as an art person, you should let your body be used for anything that you portray. Yeah, and yeah. Well, when posting that with that caption, didn't you think that people were going to associate you with that? Why would they do that? I mean, because I know how we are. I mean, we show position, no? and even the caption now, uh, Kabuma. So, what if it was a movie and I was doing that? Would that pass? Mm. Or pass? Yeah. It's a post. I took a picture. I, I wanted to wear red, pin my nose, have rings. Have you been one before? Nose. Have I been one? A gay before? Never. Have you thought about it? No. Have they? Have any of them approached you? A lot of times. Mm. <laughs> I didn't give in. No. But I'm, and I'm not against them. Okay. I have a lot of gay friends, both Ghana and Nigeria. I'm really not against them, but I'm not one of them. Mm, okay. I am just an actor who's portraying a character. So when, 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 I mean, such comments that are coming, I mean, how did you take it? As usual, it's just like when I did a movie in 2013, House of God, when I played gay, the whole, everybody saying I'm gay and all that. So seeing the comments, is nothing really new to me, but it's just a stream that people watch this still think that I'm gay. Like, did you really go through my page to see other pictures? You know, mm. but for me, I, I just keep reading. Like, I wanted to see the thought of people. Like, what's going on in people's mind? People still think I'm gay after nine years of doing House of Gold. You know, like a, a picture like this can trick people to say, Ah, you can't. We said it really. Mm. So that means I am really that good to portray a character for you to believe I'm gay, even through a picture. And that's why I said I'm the best actor right now among my colleagues in mm. Has it affected you with that association? Again, no, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I know my stand around my friends. I'm an actor, Zion. I can play. I can play any character. Even the gay that you saw me, I can even decide to look extremely feminine. If my producer or my character wants me to look like that, it's just like Will Smith or Matt Lawrence playing those feminine characters they play. It doesn't mean they're gay. You know, it's just an actor. So any actor who can transform into something else is not an actor. Okay. Meba, here we are. Meba, I have a question for him. Media that Felix. Omar Krupp. Who do you want to say? Omar Krupp. Omar Krupp. Krupp is a German name. German name. Yeah. Who gave you that name? That's my dad's name, Alfred Krupp. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, my Even mom. though so your, your father wasn't around. My mom has always believed that I will meet my dad. Mm. Yes. She, she has always knew, she has always believed that I will meet. She never gave up on me trying to find my dad. And how, how, how was the reception when you finally told her that, I mean, he's reached out? a lot out. of emotions, trust me. My, my, the story of me meeting my dad is a very emotional story. Extremely emotional. So are they back? No. Mm -hmm. they've not, they still haven't met yet. I, have, I went to meet him. But they talk? Yeah, yeah, they talk. Okay. They talk. I'll be back.
Minion Magana four, but what quench you? Hey, I was your four. Missy Bibi or baby, oh, Bibi or baby. Did you some marketing business ever born there with Jamie? And you're twenty years old, me, Michelle, just one year, and I've seen results. They be a me, yeah, because the register is a mass switching up because of this business. Business, see, my baby will interview my so that to better say, but only a bitch, yeah, she never should be what it. Na I always say maybe add this one. Other Ghanaians so maybe add one. Oh, the best is Chinese say. They say true. What we say, baby, someone who said there's something that taking care of the long hours and the double job, so that you can spend quality time with your family. And this is what this business is built for. Me, you are sign up on my link. So information you know about on Chayo. Information you about to take your time and watch the webinar. Reach out to me on WhatsApp with any concern. Me, I am willing to support you. I am willing to walk you through the system so that you too will be successful. When you get to our community, you will see my success and your mind will blow off. Yami on Bye. Talk to you soon. Wow. Many years are in Phoenix. Oma Krup. I am coming to uh, yeah. Copenhagen. Yes, Copenhagen, Denmark. 25th of February 2022. And I'll be in Barcelona uh, in March. And then I'll be in France, Toulouse, March 12, 2022, for Ghana Music Awards France launch. And I'll finish my Europe tour in Holland around middle of um, March as part of my 10 years anniversary. I'm celebrating 10 years, so I'm starting with this Europe tour. Me buy an Afina, your call South Africa trip, you know, so you can pay 9,000 Ghana cities to join me on the South Africa trip. Europe tour, I'm coming. Even by the time you're watching this interview, you can move to Europe. So there's no way you can join me. And I'll open a visa. I don't do visa connection. I, like, I get at least two calls every day from people say, I'm visa. Ask me visa. No, travel too much. So, but I don't do visa. To I'm working. You're, you're traveling. I'm traveling to work. Like you're traveling. But I'm working. You're traveling. So it doesn't mean visa. Like you're enjoying life. I'm not enjoying life. I'm working. No, you're I don't, not. I don't enjoy life. I like. I don't envy in a bad way. Like in a very successful way. I think you're having an amazing time. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, you are. You Thank are. you very much. Your brains, yeah. Yeah. Ten years in the game. No, no joke. It's been long. It's been very Why long. Is no, uh, yeah. A little bit celebrity. Who is AC? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. No, <laughs> I have a lot of friends who are AC. Like I have a lot of AC friends. <laughs> you know, you know the AC that you're, I'm talking about. That's why you post for like two thousand hours. And <laughs> how to remove your shit? Wow, <laughs> Zion. I don't know how you got this information. What information? Why you asking me of AC? No, I mean, I just asked a question and you're bringing so many she's things fine. out. She's I fine. didn't ask how is she, who is she? <laughs> she's she's my very good friend. Is she still your friend? No, 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 but you know, she's not my friend. We, we talk once in a while. We talk once in a while now. But she's she was a very good friend. Yeah, what happened? <sighs> Not here. <laughs> what happened? Man, can't you? Why was it a question? The way we moved to change the year and I said, Emma, I mean, well, this was my my ex girlfriend. She was, she is, or was your ex girlfriend? No, my ex. We broke up like almost two years now. What happened? A lot, a lot, a lot of things happened. A lot of things happened. It was. <laughs> It was like one of the like turning points in my life, breaking up with, with her. It's gone. It's 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 some past I don't want to you know go back to. You know, it's a lot of time and a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of love wasted. A lot of money wasted as well. How, how 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 long did you guys date? Almost four years. If you say a lot of time, a lot of money wasted. And we've, we've had our like we've had our moments, our Cinderella moments. You know. She she cheated or what? <laughs> the circumstance happened, and you know we broke up. What happened? 
Whatever situation that happened. I don't know what happened, so I'm asking you. It's a relationship problem. So, like, or, or so you're also on, on your type. I've met somebody mm, better. No, she, she just didn't treat me right. She didn't appreciate what she had. She didn't value me. She, she just didn't know what, know what she had. She didn't know what to use it for. You know, I could have been a better person if she had. You know, she just, she didn't know what she was holding. You know, and. She misused it and you know didn't respect it and a lot of things happened. Like I don't want to talk about. Because I hear like you you, you 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 were really into her. I did love her very much, extremely. I don't think. Yeah, I did. I loved it that much. Only can move it. Yeah, a lot. Movie baby, no, we ain't going anywhere. I hear she's an actress. Ah, uh, yeah, she's an actress. She's she's an actress. Yeah, I, I brought her in the game. You brought her in the game? Yeah, I did. So you're trying to make her popular? As my girlfriend. As my ex-girlfriend. Okay. Mm -hmm. She said to be an ex. Mm -hmm. Do it still time, Obi? Yeah, I, I see it as a waste of time. Because, you know, the things, <laughs> the things that I did for her was out of love, you know. And you know, sitting back now and watching myself, I'm thinking, what was wrong with me? Like, why was I doing all that? You know, but I don't regret anything or any moment I've had with her. I just regret the time that I wasted and the energy and resources and everything. I wished I could use that time and energy for something more productive, like my career and a lot of things. Again, I'm saying that you know that moment of leaving her. You know, breaking up that relationship for the for the turning point in my life. Like the same moment I met Mr. Dinati, you know, I was I was going through a really deep time in my life. Well, because she had left you. Because she had left me, and because of I had I had some I had my my friend like more of a production manager who was staying with me, who also you know betrayed me, and a couple of people around. And you know, coming back and the lockdown, the cinema has been locked down. I, have, I had already done a lot of promotion. The movie was like, the movie was supposed to be premiered. People at the cinema and I couldn't premiere my film because the movie was not written. It was a whole lot of, it was a whole lot of, you know, setbacks happening at the same time that I couldn't hold myself. And at least the only person you would want to rely on is someone you love, and that person also disappoint you at that time. So it was, it was very depressing. Because like more or less like your happiness depended on that person and the person is nowhere to be found so it's like that time where nobody is actually because that was my happiness so maybe she didn't realize but she was my absolute happiness in capital letters and you know so there was a time where I, I like i wanted to give up acting i wanted to give up production i really wanted to give up the industry i, I just wanted to go off i wanted to just move away from everybody I just feel like I wasn't appreciated, you know. It's like I killed myself for people, and people don't appreciate. Like people don't see what I'm doing. Imagine you're saying I use people I don't pay, and the people I don't pay, I'm using someone to promote those people, and you still don't appreciate what I'm doing, you know? Because I was I was never any of the, the lead characters in my movies. Like I always give people the budget. So if you were in that situation, I mean, you were in that moment with me, and you were enjoying that moment, and you couldn't help me at my bad time, and you left me. That's deep, you know. And I, I just want to meet Mr. Eddie, you know. During that period, did you ever think of suicide? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was, I was, I felt, I felt like 10% of depression. I was really in a dark time. I was really gone for like almost a year. Nobody heard of me, my friends, a lot of people. I was, I was just in a dark moment, trying to find myself, like trying to know what's going on, like who I've offended, where I've gone wrong in the industry. You know why are people saying this about me? Why did she do this to me? You know what have I done wrong? Like what's where's where's my fault? You know. Okay then I'm done. I don't want to do it again. You know, did a little bit of drugs here and there, trying to you know, pull myself back. It was really bad, Zion. Like it was so bad. I wake up days in my washroom, sleeping in my washroom. You know. It was it was it was, it was that bad time. Like the lockdown from the first lockdown. Going on, it was it was really bad for me. Like 
everything was, was bad. Emotionally, I was... Like, I was, I was not feeling, you know. It was a lot of time for me, like, thinking the people that I'm trying to help in my little times are not even available to, you know, support me. Like, I'm using people, I'm not paying them, yes, but I'm doing it to help people and also help myself. Like, where did I go wrong? Who did I offend? I didn't pay you. Did I steal from you? <laughs> I didn't steal from you. I just called you to come and help me make a movie. To help yourself, you're going to be on the screen too, you know? He said, yo, young boy, 18, he's trying to do something. And you being there as a lover, you know, you are seeing the struggle in and out of it. And you enjoy most part of it. And when things, you know, getting bad, you are not there. You know? But it's fine, like, and that's why I always appreciate Mr. Genati, you know, he's, I, he's the one I came to tell them, you know, I want, I want to leave the industry. I don't think people deserve me in the industry. I don't think Ghanaians even see what they have, you know, to actually pay their mind to this guy. Like, why are the investors, you know, do you know the things I can do? I, I just wanted to stop. And he was also, you know, in a bad time as well, you know, just, you know wife, dead wife, and so re may her so rest in peace. So he was so there, but he was able to, you know, help me get out my emotions. And that's why like, I'm, I'm still with him. People don't understand. He's helped me come out of that moment of my life. And I could have actually killed myself. Because I couldn't talk to anybody, not even my mom. I don't know who would understand me. Or, you know, who would actually understand what I'm going through. You know, and so if I've transformed and I've changed from what people used to know to what I've become, is is a lot of emotional struggle. A lot. I will be surprised. I'll tell all these movies that I produce. I don't even make money out of them because I didn't know where to go and sell them. But like eight years ago, uh, so I, mean, I was just producing because I have the love for it. But when I finish and I give it to the, the big names in the industry to go and sell, you know, they'll sell and they, they spend the money. If you, want, you, if you want to fight, you probably get a band or something in the industry. Like the industry story alone is a lot on its own, you know. And so I can tell you for a fact that all the movies that I've produced, I've not made enough money that I'm supposed to be making from it, you know. If you're going to sell a film where you use Jack and everybody, they say you don't pay them, and somebody's buying a film for $1,000, how much you become and pay someone, Zion? Or some platform want to buy a thing for three hundred dollars or five hundred dollars or thousand or two thousand dollars. Who would you pay? How much is equipment? How much is the crew? How much is the actors? How much is food? Well, nobody will understand that. And people are being hypo like people get about this. They know how much even UTV will buy your film. Two hundred CDs for a film. Like who does that? How do you want me to pay? And you want me, if, if I didn't have money, I should die with my talent? I can't die with my talent. I have to make a way. It's just like a musician who is trying to find a producer. He's always going to hang around a studio and keep recording until he finds someone. So I'm, always, I'm still going to hang around and still make movies. Till somebody somewhere says, at this point, let me put money to him. Because I have a lot of things. I can act, I can produce. There's a lot of things I can do. I do music too and all that. You know? So 2020, was was that moment was a turning point for me to actually wake up and realize who i was my worth and what i am and what i've made of myself on my own ever since i've started and really appreciate myself that yes i'm i'm the best actor and i am the best actor and i'll always be the best actor in Ghana. thank you very much for talking to me no. i mean i've liked i've loved him more <laughs> i like him but i mean the conversation that we just had i'm gonna open us some more Open us some more. Uh, Mark, your final words on social media handles, Nyanko. And shout outs to Isi. Everything is. Like, 
help anyone who can help you. Know, you never know who you are helping, regardless of how they, they treat you or what they say about you. Just open up your heart and help you. It's, it's good. It's very good. Like, there's a lot of people in the industry that I have helped, even when I was young. Big names, other people. But these same people would just say horrible things about you, you know. They're not even thinking about the, the good benefit, they're also benefiting from what this small boy is trying to do, you know. Like, you, you can't even produce a film. Someone has produced a film and put you in. You should actually appreciate that. You, you might be sitting home for a year, nobody will call you for a film. So if somebody call you and use it for free, at least promote it. You was, you, you're going to be on screen too. It's a win-win for everybody. You know? Don't think about what I'm going to make afterwards. What if I'm not making it? Because I am not making it. If I say I produce 12 movies, I, I should pack some G-Wag on here right now. I should be leaving this in Chisago or something. You know how much movie cost on Netflix and other places. But I'm not making them because the country is not even helping me to make it. How much is even musicians making on streams? Bye-bye. <laughs>currently our flagship project. It is a huge project that is going to be comprehensive in nature to cater for um, residential and commercial activities. It has industrial enclave, it has enclave for schools, it has enclave for central business districts, it has an enclave for um, anything that you can think of. The terminal possesses it.